Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But uh, if you're looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend the Kaplan Q Bank with my Guru 10 discount code uh, at checkout. It comes in about $60 for that commercial. Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on uh, Kaplan questions. This is uh, a request for 151. 8102 will help you with any question, but it's uh, easier backstage if it's a Kaplan question because I can pull it up. Don't have to cut and paste any of that kind of stuff. Anyways, an investor owns five DEF call options with a strike price of 40. So uh, one thing I want you to get good at is contract specifications. In other words, you shouldn't be fumbling around that that is a, a choice or right, R-I-G-H-T, to buy 500 shares at 40. So if I exercise that, I'm going to have to come up with cash equal to the aggregate exercise price. Remember, there's three things that can happen to this option. T is a good memory aid device, T. The contract can be traded. The contract can be exercised. The contract can expire. If at expiration, the contract has intrinsic value, it will be exercised. If at expiration, the contract has no intrinsic value, it will expire worthless. In that case, I would lose whatever this premium is. Now, they don't tell me what the premium is, but I had to pay something to establish the position. The options are European style. That's very testable on every exam. SIE, Series 7, 65, 66. You know, American style means I can exercise this anytime I'd like. European style means I can only exercise it at expiration. So if the holder exercises, so at expiration... If I exercise, the cost will be. Now, maybe the, the student here was struggling with this idea that it's European style, I can't exercise. No, I can. I can just do it on the next expiration date. There's nothing here to suggest that I'm trying to exercise it uh, sooner than that. So uh, 500 shares times 40 is $20,000. And so what I need is cash equal to the aggregate exercise price. So kind of an important concept if you're exercising a call contract, you need money. And if you get get exercised on a short call, you got to deliver the stock. Uh, I would also know that $20,000 is uh, T plus two, regular way settlement. So the option contracts themselves are T plus two. But the resulting exercise in an equity option is T plus two. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, uh, yard by yard. Your Series 7 is hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request.